bit multipliers and bidding rules are the engine that runs underneath EPOM's white paper DSP. This is a set of very powerful algorithms when utilized correctly can increase your revenue quite significantly. Bid multipliers come in the form of creating a new list. Let's go with best performing. And this allows you to issue a multiplier. What EPOM will do is whenever an ad request comes from this specific site or this specific app, EPOM will automatically bid six times higher or three times higher, respectively, based on the information that you put in over here. Please note EPOM can bid lower than your initial bid price that you set on the campaign if you put something less than one. You can have this list as big as possible. You can populate it automatically using bid and rolls, which will stop on in a second, or you can manage it yourself. Bidding rules is a set of nested rules that you can work with and that run on various metrics. How this works is you can create multiple ifs, ands, circumstances, and you can reside those metrics either on conversions or impressions, spend, impression to conversion ratio, win rate, or anything else. So how this works is, let me give you an example. If one creative had a lot of impressions, but actually didn't have a lot of conversions, you can automatically pause the creative. Once you do this, once you save this rule and apply it to the campaign, all the creatives that meet this criteria will be paused automatically every hour if their performance for the last three hours matches these settings that you've specified over here. But you can not only pause creative, you can do much more. You can add the URL or a bundle to a filter which acts as a blacklist or a whitelist. In this case, if you set everything up properly, Epon will understand that some sites or some apps generate a very small amount of conversion. What it will do then is it will put that site or app into a blacklist, which could already be applied to the campaign, meaning that campaign will no longer bid on traffic coming from those sites or apps. But that's not all. What you can also do is you can increase or decrease your multiplier and bid multipliers that I've just shown you. So in this case, for the next hour, the sites or apps that show this performance will be bid on 20% lower, because we will put in decrease by 20%, than the hour before. Configuring this in a way that you would like to, in a way that your business would benefit from, would allow you to have a very powerful auto bidding mechanism that would bid on the sites and apps that really work for you, EPOM will bid higher on those. And for the sites and apps that do not perform as much, EPOM will bid lower. And it can recalculate this from every hour to every week and analyze the data for up to 10 days.